Oh, fucking Luke Skywalker! Run! Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be playing a little bit of the Star Wars Battlefront Beta. Now this is the footage I captured on the first day of release, and I thought it was quite exciting, so we're going to share it with you today. I'm going to stay away from the controversy that surrounds this game, and I'm just going to talk about what exactly is going on in game, my thoughts, and how I was actually fighting through each area. Now we've entered the Rebel Bunker, we've eliminated three players there, and we're about to go over a pickup. Now this pickup was a rocket launcher, really good at taking down walkers, but also quite handy at taking a Rebel down at close range, but it does get me killed. Now fighting in these bunkers was really intense, I switched over to the Heavy Blaster with a heavy rate of fire, and I eliminate two with a grenade before we push in. Now teamwork was crucial in getting around the bunkers. Outside it was just a mess of turrets. It, it really wasn't that fun outside. There was walkers, there was just so many things to get killed by that you died quite a lot. But once you got inside you were relatively safe and it was a man to man sort of fight as we come around the corners and we take out more rebels and it was first person sort of skills that really helped you. But my gun overheats there and it gets me killed. So as we walk past one of the fighters that's crashed into the snow, I thought that was cool, I'd add that in. So now that we're back outside in what I like to call Land of the Turrets, where turrets roam free, destroying pretty much everything, we're actually assaulting an uplink position. Now when the Rebels control these, they can use them to call in the Y-Wings, their bombers, to actually destroy the walkers. That was pretty fun, it worked pretty well, but at the same time, the Empire had a really easy time capturing them. It took literally two or three seconds, and it was back in our control. And that meant the Rebels had to fight for every inch of land, since it's a World War One sort of way wasteland out here with trenches and hardly any cover, they had to make use of the perks, the turrets, as well as everything they could to get an advantage and slow down the Empire. Now I'm guessing you could say that is quite accurate in terms of the movie, the Empire did have the upper hand in this fight, they also brought better equipment to the fight in my opinion, but at the same time this left a lot of rebels really frustrated in this game, the Empire won pretty much every round and it took a crack team of re rebels or republic to actually hold this outpost. Now one of the places where they actually managed to thrive pretty well was the bunker and the pure reason for this was that there was no walker access and it was pretty hard for them to shoot in so the rebels could really hold the bunker well and in this case you can see here we're pushing up and there's so many of the in there you just really need to use that cover to the event. It was the, probably the first time that I actually went right I need to let my health regenerate I can't just storm this place and you can see they're emerging from both sides and on the other side of the X-Wing there is an uplink and that is what they are going to defend to the death absolute fanatical defense was going on here lasers going everywhere and around the corner there's a guy camping it so it means we're going to have to work out some sort of strategy we can't just sit on this other side now, as a Stormtrooper, traditionally, I decide that a bit of hit fire is the best way of going and pretty much absolutely miss him. Thank God my teammate was there to back me up. A bit more hit fire going across the hangar. And there we go. We've got the guy that's lurking around the corner. There's only a few ways to actually destroy this guy. Probably need a hand grenade in there. But this time I hadn't locked them. Now, destroying that box actually brings me onto the destruction. There was not just much destruction in here, and coming from a sort of a battlefield style title, you would expect that walls would be flaking off, things would be falling over, and there'd maybe even a level of evolution, like the ceiling could fall in on the X Wing or something like that, but there was just none of it. I couldn't see too much destruction at all. The most destruction I saw was when a walker fell, and that was quite beautiful. So, pushing up, we've got another player in the alleyway there, and his friend comes out, and I decide to butt him with the back of the gun, but his friend grenade takes me out. Now we're back in the hangar, and this was probably one of the scariest moments. That is Luke Skywalker up there, he's one of the power-ups, and he was deflecting my bullets, so I decided not to fire at him. I need to get out of here as fast as possible. There's not too many ways a lone sort of stormtrooper can take him out. So I tried to fl flee away, throw a grenade. The grenade catches him, but I get stuck on a teammate, and he's coming after me still. And there we go, he slices me. Very hard to kill as a lone stormtrooper. I got him down to 52 though, so I was quite happy. Now here's one of them devastating turrets. This was probably the easiest to get shot off. The turret across the way was one of the more devastating ones. But at the same time, when used in a defensive sort of role, it, it was quite exciting. But at the same time, it was really overkill. Yes. And you could even set these up in some areas. Now we're switching over to the X-Wing. We're actually fighting a TIE Fighter. And I was quite surprised it had a lock-on system that made it very arcadey and very easy to shoot people down when you got on the tail. So we're dr drilling him a few more shots. And there he goes, he crashes beautifully. And you get this beautiful sound effect of debris hitting. So we're actually proceeding into a shield. That sound of the shield sounds so good. If there was them rolling droids, I can't remember the droid because I believe they're called. And they had a shield and it sounded like that it would be amazing. I don't know if there's going to be droids in this. But I'm going off subject. Now we've switched over to the large walker. And this was a power-up that could be picked up off the field. 
Like most of the power-ups, like even the heroes could just be picked up off a little power-up off the floor, and that was a bit confusing. But at the same time, it absolutely devastated. The under cannons are extremely powerful, and people were just completely oblivious to the walker above them. It seemed like they just walk out. Just watch the amount of people that flee out of this bunker, and I just wipe them out with a few shots. And people just walking in front of me like they don't know what the hell's going on. You can see just even more carnage destroying over the battlefield. Just another way you can die, I guess, and that's what made it really hard to survive on the outside. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully it's been quite entertaining. I'm going to probably play a little bit more of this. I'll see you next time.